Michael Jordan, Tom Brady, the Williams sister, Pharrell Williams, David Beckham, Kygo. So many stars came to Miami. What a weekend, what a show. Can't believe it, loved it. Talking of the race, Red Bull, Red Bull the fastest car, yes they were. They uh, had some issue with Max Verstappen on Friday, they didn't run end of FP1, they didn't run at all in FP2, so that completely puts you on back foot. You don't do long run, you don't do tire degradation, you don't do setup work, you don't do quality run. And still, in qualifying without that small mistake on the last attempt, I think it would have been on pole. In the race, much better tire degradation on, at, on the Red Bull side. It was very impressive to know how they knew that front right was going to be the issue and they looked after it, while at Ferrari, Ferrari, they, they suffer on medium from that front right tire. That's why um, Max could pass Charles. And then onto the hard tires, both cars were very similar, but it's hard to pass. It's hard to pass in Miami because of the tarmac. The tarmac is the only thing that needs to be improved for the future. There was one racing line, and out of the racing line, top play of the tarmac would go and do like some gravels. And if you would go offline, like we've seen Carlos Sainz in free practice two, Esteban Ocon uh, in free practice three, you would completely lose the car, uh, you would roll on those uh, on those gravels and you wouldn't have any grip and hit the wall. So yes, Verstappen, Red Bull, very impressive. Reliability is still an issue, they had a big warning on Sergio Perez. I think they could have finished third and first and third uh, without, if it wasn't for that engine issue on Perez, on the, on the onboard camera, really sounded bad, but they uh, they did manage to fail a sensor and get it kind of back to work, but I don't think they had the full potential, full power after that, but definitively Red Bull was the fastest car out there. Is George Russell surpassing Lewis Hamilton? I don't think so. I think Lewis Hamilton was the man at Mercedes this weekend. First of all, Mercedes was back more at the front, which was great to see. Fastest in, in free practice too. And then they kind of had no bouncing on Friday, came back on Saturday and Sunday, but much better, much better, much closer to the front. They've done a good job. Lewis got unlucky with the, with the safety car. He was on for a really good race. He still had a really good race, a sixth position finish, but got beaten by George Russell. George did a really good first stint, but really enjoyed. That, save, that safety car that saved him about 10 seconds on track and then he was on new tire behind Lewis on old tires so he passed him twice the first time George overtakes Lewis goes off track so as to give the, the position back and then go again but you can't really compare a new medium tire versus a 30 old hard tire very difficult for me Lewis was uh, was very strong this weekend he loves America he loved Miami you know Michael Jordan what came to see him David Beckham name it they were all, all here around him and that was great to see so good to see that good to see that Mercedes is making a step in the right direction I can't wait for them to be in the fight with Ferrari and Red Bull of the front that's gonna be super exciting Mick Schumacher has P9 five laps to go. You would expect the first one to be there, the first points to be here, especially with the penalty for Fernando Alonso. But um, a mistake. Too optimistic on the move on Vettel. Crash broke the front wing. Quite a weird strategy from Haas on Kevin Magnussen. I don't know why they pitted Kevin on the last safety car, while he was just behind Mick and the hard tire was very good. So they pitted and they could never really recover the position. And then Kevin had, had to get together with Stroll, I believe. But yeah, Haas had a, had a fast car. Uh, they got stuck behind the Aston Martin in the race, couldn't pass. I lost some ground there, but still they were on for points. And I think they should have. Look at Alex Albon, done a really brilliant job with the Williams. Very impressive uh, work by, by Alex. Getting some more points for Williams up there. Uh, that's really good, uh, definitively. Happy for him, but Haas should have been up there. Yeah, Mick tried too hard and, and um, Kevin had a, had a strange strategy. It was always going to be hard starting from where he started, but look at um, Esteban Ocon starting last and finishing eighth. Talking of Esteban Ocon, Fernando Alonso, is it disappointing? No, I love Fernando. Fernando is, is, is great. He drives like a 20 years old. He loves sending it. I love that um, that generosity into the into the work. He's definitely putting a great show. In terms of points, he's not great. Uh, Esteban Ocon is, is scoring more and more regularly. And as I say, he did a really brilliant race yesterday, starting last and finishing eighth. While Fernando uh, got too optimistic on the move with Gasly. It was hard to pass in Miami because of the racing line you know only one racing line so he tried to go in the inside realized it was too late too far back try to slow down it didn't work hit Gasly got a five second penalty got another five second penalty lay on so lost p9 and lost all points but um yes he was on he was on for a good race um he's, he's putting on a good show he's, he's very he's very fast uh, in qualifying and free practice in the race um it's good to see but definitely in terms of point it's not uh, it's not where he should be
Miami, one of the most exciting Grand Prix of the year. Well, it was definitely a very exciting Grand Prix. It was definitely an American show, as I say. It was incredible to see so many stars, so many people coming around. Such a huge event. I love the fact that they came on the podium with the American football helmet on. We were at the Dolphins at the Hard Rock Stadium, home of the Dolphins of Miami. That's the American uh, football team here in Miami. It was all great. There is, there is room for improvement in the future, which I cannot wait to see. I believe they, you know, using the inside of the stadium could be great changing that tarmac uh, to make it that it's more it's more possible to overtake there was some really good corner like that turn seven eight super long left hand side corner i'm definitely i'm, I'm sure if you put uh, if you put a better tarmac driver we're gonna try different lines up there and uh, and get more passing zone but it was great it was good to see that tight chicane was actually quite exciting driver could follow each other so it was it was a very good race it was very exciting loads of people came here really good weather it's miami after all right so that was um, that was good um 10 years of formula one in miami that was the first year vegas coming next year the american fan loved it i can't wait to see when it comes back and it's crazy to imagine that all that racetrack that was built is temporary everything's going it's america fake marina fake marina was quite funny i mean yes you can you can laugh about it but everyone's talk has spoken about that the fake marina big yachts, fake water, bit of sand, weren't allowed to put water up there. So what did they do? Well, they created water. I like that. I like the fact that, you know, it's, yes, it's a bit artificial, but it's good for the show. People loved it. You could see the swimming pool into the apex of um, turn five, was it? Anyway, there were swimming pools, the fans enjoyed it. The experience was great. It was a huge place, big stadium. So I can't wait to, I can't wait to get, for it to come back to Miami. Uh, hometown, you know, I was driving in and out of my house every day, excited to be there. We know going back to the more classical one, Barcelona's next in two weeks, the week after is Monaco. Uh, teams are going to be bringing updates, that's for sure. Uh, Ferrari needs to bring updates if they want to keep up with, uh, with Red Bull. Mercedes is on the right path, so they're going to be there as well. All the mid teams have to bring something that the fight is so tight that they need to bring updates there. It's going to be interesting to see what they do in Barcelona. Barcelona will be really the, the test for all those new rules. Barcelona used to be a track where you cannot really pass, you can follow each other. So let's see, tw F120. 2022 so far looks really good looks like they can follow each other so i'm excited to see what it's going to be like in in barcelona i think we're on for a good show but let's see you know it's going to be the real answer as always please if you like the video subscribe like comment happy to speak about anything happy to keep going and uh, i'll see you very soon